You heard of moon pies? Well, this isn't a moon cake. Tammy's making jello cake. So basically, Tammy makes a vanilla cake, then she poured raspberry jello into those little crevices she cut out, let it cool, and then she mixed cheesecake pudding and whipped cream, put it on as icing. Man, it's so good. Put it in the fridge, let it cool, top it with fresh raspberries and whipped cream, and enjoy. So I got the new part. Exactly like the old part. Same size diameter, height. This is a little higher, but it's well. And that's wore down that much the diameter of the bearings are exactly the same too I look down in here that diameter is the same down in there too so same part it's just wore down that much yikes Alright, so we had to replace our washer. We found a, kind of found one that works. Had to do some adjustments. Still sounds like a jet engine. But I got this part I need to put in. Uh, I'm going to try to do this real quick before we go to work. So we're, I'm going to show you how we put this back together. Um, I just got a call from TSC. They said they can order this part, but with shipping it would be about $20. Uh, this was t this was a $13 part from Husqvarna. Um, I did get free shipping through Amazon. So I think TSC should get prime shipping. It'd probably save them a lot of money, maybe. But either way, we're going to put this back together. Um, and this is what we're dealing with. Here's your clutch. It comes off reverse thread and you can see they had some Loctite in there we had to break free so to do that we had to put a string or they sell um, they do sell piston stops now there's two washers here which we're going to clean up all these shavings this washer goes at the bottom and this washer goes with this side touching the you can see where the clutch would move and this was down against the clutch drum and sprocket it's all one piece so the clutch drum and sprocket will go on then this will go on and then this clutch will go on which we're going to screw it on opposite the way we normally would reverse thread then to tighten it they make a socket that fits right down into here but I'll show you what I used and we're gonna put this back together blew all this out in the before I put this back together but I tried to run it and uh, put all this stuff back on there guide plate 
this is bent. That guide plate goes on there and it'll stay on there and keep uh right here's where all your oil comes out. Supposed to be a rubber piece on there. Supposed to be a rubber piece on there. Uh, I'm gonna get on and check my PDF file. See if I'm missing a rubber piece in here somewhere because this is your oil feed. Give me a second. So I don't see a rubber seal anywhere. It's just this plate. They call the bar plate and the two bolts. And then here's your oil. There is a dust seal on the oil pump, which is 22, which is inside, inside right here. And that's all internal, so I imagine that's on there. Okay, it looks a lot better. We need this washer. Not concave or nothing, but we're gonna put it back on the way it came off. This would run on that bearing right there, see it? Don't leave much, does it? That goes on there. Now, we put our well, this is going to start turning the entire motor, and that's why we need that piston stop. And I'm going to use these, lock them down, and then turn it that way. And then we can tap it right against here with the screwdriver. Alright, so for a piston stop, I'm just going to shove this string right down in here. And you want to shove in as much of it as you can where your spark plug goes. You got a smaller string you might want to tie a knot let me get this done and I'll show you okay so I just used two fingers and I just slowly fed it in there and bumbled it up filled the whole cavity with string just single cord I'll show you when I pull it out but just push that down in there and then the, the piston has nowhere to go it'll push up against that and you can take your clutch off and Put your clutch on and check your spark plug while you got it out. But now we can put this on and not have to worry about it. And we'll get this down till it's all the way tight. Almost there. All right, now I'm gonna get some uh, Loctite. I'm gonna back this off a little bit. Put some Loctite in there, and then we're gonna put it back down. And I'll show you when we're done. Okay, so I don't have the right. Well, it's right. It's for high temp, and it's thread locker, but. It's not name brand stuff, and it's blue. All right, now I'm going to 
get this tight as I can and we'll hold it and then we'll tap it tight with a screwdriver so I can't do that and hold this but if you don't have the special socket that's what you're gonna have to do pull this tight to tight as you can get it and then tap it tight with your screwdriver okay so this is what I found first and I was trying to use blue thread locker but look I just found my this is what I should have used I might put some of that on there too. Alright, so there we go. Spins good. The sound reminds me of Native Wild Man's Tea Time. Alright, I'll just pull this out. in there and we're gonna put this all back together and see how she works I checked the L72 teeth before and now and they both seem to work and fit perfectly fine as long as you keep it tight so I'm gonna run this for a little bit and see how it works with the 72 teeth Thank you all for coming and watching, and I want to give a special thanks to our Patreons, Mary Ranch and the Timbrook family. I also want to ch thank our channel members, Native Wildman, George Ann Rose, Roy and Becky's Travels, Just Doing Our Best, Aerial Viking Venture and Victuals, Bobo Schnoggins, Handicapped Traveler, Mel Nettie Living Free Zip Code List, Taxi Slot, Canadian Family Life, Sandy Robinson, Camp Maintenance Guy, Michael's Adventures, Glitter World, Quiet Listener, Mystic Bunny, and Miss Joan. We appreciate all of you.